Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from The Automator, and this video we're just going to give you a little overview of The Automator, because if it's your first time here, it gets very confusing. So one of the things you might be coming here to do is to learn on a specific topic, right? If you're coming here to learn a specific topic, um, we have a couple main ones at the top. There's the COM and Excel and API calls, right? Like those are great. Also, the um, if you're wanting to know about editors, we have another video on which editor you should use, but we have a lot of training on different editors. Um, but under the auto hotkey, that far left one, that's where we got other things like our, we got over 60 webinars. Um, there's stuff on V2. There's actually some auto hotkey V1 books. There's also auto hotkey functions and working with controls and regular expressions. So this is where I would be going this and across the banner for types of things you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for a specific download, um, that's where I'll let is talk a little bit here about where they are and using one of our tools. Right. So for the downloads here, um, you can either go to the downloads tab in here. Sadly, the problem with this one is that it only shows five downloads at a time. We can see if we can fix that. But um, don't worry, you don't have to really navigate through that. You can just simply search for the name of uh, a given download. Now, the thing with this, and that's why we're mentioning it, is that that is mixed up with a lot of pages that we create, like for example, um, modules, resources. So for you to find the download itself, like prompt assistance download, it might take a little, a few tries. That's the reason why we created kind of like a, a different tool that we call the Automator Resource Finder. And the cool thing about this one is um, you don't have to search per page in here. You can search for something and you not only get the download for it, which you can double click and get there, but also you can actually get the videos or help files or other types of resources that we might have. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a prompt ask, you're in the right place. That's all I got to say. Thank <laughs> That's you. Like that. all right. But basically you can look up downloads in here. You can filter just by downloads. And now you can get a lot of other things like our um, animate GIF files, append to files, and so on. And you can actually just look up what you're searching in here, and it would give you the link for. Yeah, when uh, you double click it, it pulls it up. Right. Right. It gets, it gets you there. <laughs> Very old <laughs> download. Okay. Okay. So that I so that go. But basically, as you can see, this, this tool is really great for, for filtering out very quickly what you need. Or what's also cool is we've we've integrated it with the documentation for auto hockey as well, for V1 or V2. So you can look for, you know, stir split or something. And yeah, you can you can see and it'll bring you to the online documentation for that if you're looking again, you can choose on V1 or V2. So it's right. very handy to find not just automated resources, but if you're working with auto hotkey, it's it's a great script. Very good. So the, basically, and the YouTube video because we have over fifteen hundred YouTube videos, right? So it allows yeah. you to search across our videos to say, "Hey, have they done a video on this topic I'm looking for?" Right? Puts it all in one little spot here for you. That's true. So basically, as you can see, there's a lot of things that we can uh, search, and it is so quick; it doesn't take too much time. Um, it's not that the the page is bad for what you're looking for. It's just that sometimes, at least with the downloads, you would have to click a lot to get what you need. Um, we haven't found a way yet to modify this, but as soon as we have, it's going to be good. It was actually faster for us to build this tool than to figure out how to do that one. So in any case, you can do um, both the topics that we cover. We cover so many topics. I think just in the webinars themselves, how many webinars we have? Over 60, yeah. They they are, what, eight hours each? Two. Two hours each. I remember we did a webinar that was like eight hours. We did a, the Auto Hockey Con was. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. sorry. I'm actually confusing it with the Auto Hockey Con. It was like a very big, well, did a whole day on that. And all of the, I don't know if we have those recordings in there, but basically. There, those are on our channel. So if you look right. for HKCon in our tool, it would show you the YouTube videos on it. That's the YouTube videos? Oh, yep. there it goes. Yep. Yeah, there were eight hours, different things that we covered. So there's a lot of things that we have covered. We very likely, if you have a question, we very likely have touched yep. upon 
And you can always shoot me an email and just say, do you have something on this? Um, chances are we have something, or I can point you to something. But the first thing I would do is search the auto hockey forum, search um, stack overflow and Reddit. Uh, if you can't find it with us, right. Um, and then, you know, you can, you can go ahead and ask me, but it's fine. All right. All right. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.